So this is what I've been working on. Um, got a new plate for the red dot because the old one broke. Unfortunately now the red dot's sitting further forward than it used to and it was interfering with, the holster was interfering with it. Uh, so what I did was I shaved away a little bit of the holster here right where it was hitting with the red dot and uh, I actually shaved it at an angle inwards to help the firearm slide in. Also this holster I have already uh, shaven the bottom portion here. This is where the uh, where the red dot and flashlight actually hit the holster. That's also thinned out and shaved in. All that to help the firearm slide into the holster a little bit better. And yes, it is clear. It's, it's a clear pistol, don't worry, don't freak out. <clears throat> but yeah, so you see where the slide actually hits right there and now it just naturally wants to go into the holster as before it actually didn't want to. And also, on the bottom where the flashlight intersects as well, which is gonna be kind of difficult to show that, but you're just gonna to have to take my word for it. You see where the pistol on the very top there, where it's no longer hitting the red dot. And uh, this is basically called a stage two holster. So stage one is it's got a magnet, a magnet on the front that actually connects to the barrel and it holds it in place magnetically and there's a piece of foam in between there so it doesn't scuff it up. So that holds it in place. What makes it a stage two is this back here. So by doing that, now if I'm open carry, which I highly recommend a t at least a stage two holster, nobody can just pull it out. And if they try to pull it out and they even hit the button, nothing happens. You either have to push it in or just leave it as is. Oh, let's try pushing it in. Now it's jammed. See, look at that. See? Um, and then you have the magnetic pressure. Uh, I don't recommend stage one holsters because anybody could just run up to you and pull it while you're open carry. And even my concealed carries are technically stage twos. Um, so yeah, just uh, thought I'd show you what I was working on. Tell me what you think. So yeah, I'm you know, looking forward to uh, what I got going on tomorrow. There's another gun show in town. Um, just to let you all know, this is the uh, IWI Masada. See the uh, logo there, it says IWI with the uh, Balder Mini. It's got the uh, Lesa. If I can get it to work. Yeah, look at that. Laser, laser. Or flashlight laser. You know, it's a pretty, pretty sweet setup here. Um, ooh, look at that drop and stuff. Oh my goodness. Y'all got that. Y'all got that. Caught that in 4K, huh? But uh, yes, this uh, holster, I believe, is the Orpaz as well. They have some pretty good products. Uh, not gonna lie. Let's see if I can get the logo on there so y'all can see. Hold on. I know. I know what to do. I'm going to hit the button boom look at that so y'all can get a better look at that now i've just got the uh, paddle thing on there so it just slips it right into the belt loop but uh, you can see it's also multi-adjustable and you don't have to go with a paddle you can go with a belt holster you can do whatever this one's a little bit more open it's also a left-handed holster <laughs> because yes and you can see right here what's that say right there made in israel mm, straight from the holy land that's how i like my weapons but yeah, it's a it's a pretty decent holster. The entire thing's adjustable. This this whole bottom piece here, it's designed with a flashlight, but it can go up and down and up and down. And it's got this huge cutaway, it's nice and light. Um, you can get ones with another bar that goes right here where my thumb is, you know. Uh, and that bar can hold in uh, much larger flashlights. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so y'all can see, you know, just one more time for y'all. Boom! Look how easy that was. That was so easy it just goes right in it's angled perfectly now uh originally it actually wasn't even though you know iwi is basically designed in the same place you know masada is at least uh, i don't think they make it yeah it does say israel on it but uh, it's made in pennsylvania so whatever um just a nine mil made in pennsylvania Again, you know, it is clear. Oh, looks like the light died on my battle helmet there, but whatever. But I'm gonna have some fun. So I'm gonna do a little bit more open carry. I may have two to three firearms on me tomorrow at the firearm show, and uh, we'll see how it goes, guys. Appreciate it.